So before this video starts, I just have to let you all know that there isn't going to be any actual gameplay of Super Mario Odyssey in this video. I'd prefer to not get a claim from Nintendo. I hope you understand, if you don't, then you can just leave now. So it's been a while since I have played a game that's as good as Super Mario Odyssey. When it was first revealed back in January, I didn't even have this channel, but I wasn't that hyped for it now looking back. When I saw it, at first, I actually thought that it wouldn't be that great of a game to me because it's not what I was used to. My favorite Mario game, I go back and forth between these two, is either Super Mario 3D Land or Super Mario 3D World. Both games are great, but I like them because of the fact that I could come home and just forget about any issues and just play them and have fun. And for a lot of other games, for me anyways, you can't really do that. There are some exceptions, but 3D World and 3D Land are two prime examples of games I just love. But then, Super Mario Odyssey comes out. I got it because even though I wasn't that hyped for it, I knew that it was probably going to be the only AAA Mario game made specifically for the Switch. There isn't going to be any spoilers in this video about the game, but I'm just going to be talking about my experience with it. I only played for about an hour, and I loved it. The first thing that caught me off guard was actually the visuals. Super Mario Odyssey looks amazing. Seriously, this is one of the best looking games on the Switch so far. Anyway, moving on to the gameplay. The frame rate for this game is usually around 40 to 60 FPS, which really enhances the experience because the game runs very smoothly. Mario's hat actually is very useful when playing, not for jumping as much, but actually for taking out enemies. Instead of having to jump on enemies, which you still can do, you can instead just hit them with your hat. Speaking of the hats, the ability to control anything that your hat lands on is a really unique feature, and you'll catch yourself using it frequently throughout the game. The best part about Super Mario Odyssey though, is its open world. Every kingdom is filled with countless secrets and each kingdom always is different. If you play this game for even like 5 minutes, you'll notice that this is a Mario game unlike any other Mario game. Alright, I've talked about all of the things that I enjoyed about this game, so what are the negatives? Well, from what I can tell, you can't adjust the difficulty of the game right from the start at least. Also, a lot of kingdoms I played through are pretty small, and it kind of feels like a piece of a kingdom rather than an entire kingdom. The controls aren't terrible, but... For me, a frequent problem is the camera. Now don't get me wrong, you can adjust the camera, and it does work well, but in some areas you can't adjust the camera, which is kind of annoying. But besides that, that's really all of the major issues I can think of. But keep this in mind, I've only played Super Mario Odyssey for about an hour, so I still have a lot left to explore. Even with these flaws, this game is easily, in my book, the best Switch game so far. And the fact that this game is a Switch exclusive is going to obviously drive a lot of sales. Breath of the Wild is the next best game. At least in my opinion. Nintendo, I'm impressed with what you did here. Keep making games this good and I'm sure the Switch will become a huge, huge success. So I hope you did enjoy this video. It would be appreciated if you shared this video, but it's always up to you. I'll have a link to my other social medias in the description and see you.